We live in a structure, a system, a society. And for that system to work, there needs to be cogs in the system, like gears in a machine. And the way our society is structured is that most people need to be cogs in that system for it to run. And everything that's controlled within that system is to make you a better gear in that system. And again, it's why the education system is set up the way it is. Politics, entertainment, media, it's all the same. And being a cog in the system in some way, shape, or form, your creativity will be stifled. And I guess for some people, most people actually, it's better that way. Some people need structure. Which is why, and this might be a generalization, but most people good in systems are because they're good at being told what to do. They're good at regurgitating information, like a well-oiled gear in a machine. It's my personal hypothesis as to why the culture in the East, particularly Asian countries specifically, are the smartest in terms of academics, but they're weaker socially, a little bit robotic. They're great cogs in the system, but the innate desire in human beings to be creative becomes drastically diminished. Which is where that unsettling happiness comes from with most people in their 20s, 30s, and 40s. People on the West are slightly more in tune with their emotions over here, which is why depression, mental health is more of a thing. I mean, you got half the generation going through midlife crises and so on. It's why most people pass away wishing they've done more. And I think it's kind of safe to say that most people are losing in the sense that people are depressed, anxious, unhappy because of a struggle or most of the time to lack perspective. And this is where I might lose some of you guys, but it's okay. I believe in God, right? So I believe that this negative energy in this quote unquote matrix or system or whatever you want to call it, we live in feeds off of. And I get it. Some people don't believe in nefarious individuals or groups of people ruling the world. That's fine. I got a working brainstem, so obviously I do think nefarious individuals run this world or groups of people, whatever you want to call it, and I believe that goes back to Satan, right? I think that the system we exist in sets up a lot of people to lose right from the start. It's like playing cards with a weaker hand, you're already at a disadvantage. And I'm not talking about winning or losing in life in terms of monetary gain, although I guess you can say that's a part of it. However, something interesting happened in the 21st century that unexpectedly threw a rift in this system, in this matrix that we exist in. And that something is the internet, the rapid development of technology. You see, the internet was originally created by the government for military and scientific purposes. One being to communicate information, or that's what they say at least. The first computer network created was actually called ARPANET, which stood for Advanced Research Project Agency Network. And not even the government or anyone for that matter could see what the internet was eventually going to become. Sometimes, and actually most of the times, things just take a form of their own. I'll explain it like this, for example, game developers never know exactly how their game will look in 10 years, 5 years, even 2 years from now. They created the games, people play, the game expands, and the players are the ones who actually develop the game, through playing the game. The developers and creators just make adjustments along the way and cater it towards more and more players. And not a lot of people know this, but YouTube was originally created with intentions of being an online dating site. And now look at what it's become in less than two decades. It's insane. I mean, we have virtual currency that isn't even tangible, which honestly could be a Ponzi scheme, but I don't really know too much about it, but hey, capitalize when you can. But the point is, the internet has thrown a rift in the way the world works, the way the society is structured. The rules and structure the world once operated on are slowly falling apart. And you can kind of see this constant struggle of trying to regain control of the internet between nefarious characters and people who have cracked code so to speak. For example, there's groups of people that need to regain control of the internet in terms of controlling information and narratives. I think that's become the most dangerous thing for either side is the influx of information. And then you have the people on the other side who crack the code, so to speak, and try to use the internet to push back on that control. And this constant battle you see of controlling and pushing back on power and information, trust me, if the government knew the extent to which the internet was going to allow people to access information, they would have been a lot more careful and hesitant on developing it as fast as it did. But again, sometimes things just take a form of its own. And through the internet, people were able to crack the code, no longer needing to be cogs in a system. And I'll use examples to make this easy to understand. Before you had gatekeepers in industries, right? You had groups of people who held the keys. Whether it's in entertainment, comedy, Hollywood, music industry, there were, and still are, I guess, gatekeepers. But now there's holes in the system, right? Because of the internet. Andrew Schultz is a comedian who created his own specials, put it on YouTube, and was completely independent as well, and made his own way. Tom McDonald is another good example, right? He doesn't sign with a music label, he's completely independent, and he's succeeding in the music world. And the guy literally says whatever he wants. And I think Joe Rogan is one of the prime examples of this. The guy didn't have to go get a degree, get on some radio talk show, even though he has the voice for it. He just started his own podcast like over a decade ago. And the guy's got like over 1500 episodes. He grew his own fan base and became the number one podcaster in the world. He's like a glitch in the matrix, right? And the reason why I say that is because he's gotten so big, his voice has got so much reach. You had a far left liberal company like Spotify have no choice but to make him a deal that he couldn't refuse. Because leaving someone like that completely independent is too dangerous, especially at the rate he's going. He rose up completely on the merit of his own work. I mean, everyone knows about the $100 million Spotify deal that they gave him to have his podcast exclusively on their platform. 
But because Joe Rogan held so much leverage, he said they're gonna do it his way and play by his rules. For example, everyone knows about Alex Jones, right? Everyone knows him as this conspiracy far right guy. And this guy has literally been banned off the face of the internet, off every single platform. But Joe Rogan is one of the few people that remains untouched. And I think he might be the only person who can have him on. And they constantly try to demonetize and shadow ban a bunch of his videos, it's so obvious. The guy gets millions of views yet you can't even search for some of those videos. But the guy still remains untouched because he's gotten too big, his voice holds too much weight and millions of people love him. That became the X factor of the internet that no one saw coming. Again, completely off the merit of his own work, from being a comedian to a UFC commentator to being the number one podcaster. The guy's a glitch in the matrix. And recently Joe caught COVID-19, right? A lot of people were happy about it. It was kind of like a haha in your face because he never took it as seriously as some people. And I'm sure those same people would have preferred him to get even more sick just to prove a point. Literally only because he's a bit more conservative with his opinions. And the guy's not even actually all that right. I mean, when I listen to JRE, he kind of sounds more in the middle, if anything. Like for example, he believes if you're young and healthy with no pre-existing conditions, he didn't believe it was necessary to get the VAWCINES when it wasn't FDA approved and still in its early stages, which to me sounds logical and bordering along the lines of common sense, but whatever. And the funny thing is he actually ended up getting better in about two days and people were pissed. But hey, that's what happens when you're not a beast, out of shape, relatively healthy, exercise, have a good balance and diet. And I know that sounds harsh, but check the data. Numbers don't lie, right? But I mean, anyways, that's beside the point. The guy had a few other controversial statements this year. He said something about straight white males. And my thing is, I have a really hard time understanding people. It's like, if you don't like something or someone, don't listen. It's not that hard. There was a bunch of people working for Spotify that tried to get him taken down, but it's not happening. Again, that's because he's gotten so big, his voice holds too much weight. He's a glitch in the system. And I guess to summarize, my point is that, listen, if you're someone that believes you're meant to be more than just a cog in the system, so to speak, if you're someone who doesn't go well in structure and you want to be more free and creative, be a glitch in the matrix. If you want to go outside the box, you have to think outside the box. You have to act outside the box. Whatever that means for you or your aspirations or how you want to go about life. And again, in the 21st century, there's so many rifts that's been thrown into the system. And where there's chaos, there's always going to be opportunity if you have the foresight to capitalize. A few weeks back, I withdrew 4,000 from crypto and I was sitting there thinking, I literally made 4,000 from doing literally nothing. And I was sitting there looking at it and it just made me realize that we're in a different era. And in this era, there's a lot of gray area to capitalize on. And I guess what I'm ultimately getting at is that there's a bunch of holes right now in this standard structure the world has operated on in the past few decades and centuries. There's a lot of rifts in that system right now. So be a glitch in that matrix. And yeah, for those that want to be more than just the code in the system, a gear in the machine, see it, realize it, and act on it. Anyways, yeah, I think that's about it. If you made it to the end, thanks, I appreciate it. I'll be uploading a lot more, I promise. Anyways, if you guys liked the video, leave a like, comment, or sub. And with that said, make sure you guys stay true. Talk to you guys real soon. Peace.